legs are crossed. Maybe it's legs forward, maybe it's one leg forward or the other leg forward. I'm just gonna be here for a few moments. But sit tall if you can. Relax the shoulders down your back and feel your eyes close. And bring your awareness to your breath here. The breath in the nostrils, the breath at your throat, the expansion and contraction of your body. Aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. Many traditions teach that happiness, contentment can only be felt in the present moment. It can't be felt in the past and it can't be felt in the future, only right now. And just by being aware of the breath in our bodies, the breath is pulling us to the present moment. It's the most present thing we can focus on. This inhale, this exhale. By just being aware of your breath, you create the capacity to truly experience joy, happiness, contentment. So just take a few more of these present breaths, helping to guide your mind to this moment and to anything that this moment might hold for you, including contentment. Good. Go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath now. And bring your palms to your heart and lower the chin and just honor yourself as you are in this moment, this body, this breath, energetic state, state of mind. And it's from that place within you that we'll practice tonight. So go ahead and put the palms together, creating heat. And take the heated palms over your eyes. Brush back over the top of your head, down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you. So today we're gonna to start off on our backs. So go ahead and move any props you have off to the side and go ahead and come to lie down. Taking your time getting there. Good, so once on your back, go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. And it might feel good here to rock on the spine gently from side to side. And it might feel good just to hold the knees still. And just take another moment or two into this, this stretch, this compression on the abdomen. Good. Now go ahead and keep your right knee drawn into your chest and extend your left leg down to the floor. Good. Feeling a gentle stretch in the hip here. And then place your left hand right on top of your left hip bone. Keep holding onto the right knee with the right hand. With your inhale, draw the right knee out to the right while you keep the left hip bone on the floor. And then exhale, bring the knee back to center. Inhale, draw the right knee out to the side. And exhale, back to center. Let's do that a couple more times. Really working to keep the left hip grounded. That's where most of the effort is happening in this posture. Inhale, knee out to the side. And exhale, back to center. Good, as you draw the right knee out to the side this time, go ahead and stay. Again, left hip grounding. And you keep holding on to the knee if you'd like to. And with your inhale, extend the right leg out to the side. And exhale, just bend the knee, keeping the leg out. Inhale, extend the leg out to the side. Exhale, bend the knee. 
Feel the left abs engaged here. Inhale, extending. Exhale, bend. We'll do just a couple more. Good, and then just for a few breaths, extend the right leg out to the side. Really root the left hip down to the floor and stay for about three breaths. And that's three slow, deep breaths. <laughs> and with your next exhale, bend the knee first, then bring it back to center and go ahead and extend the right leg down to the floor. Now we've just done the one side so far, so just notice the difference in sensation between the two sides of the body. It's like a before and after shot. And then we'll go ahead and repeat that exercise on the other side. So bringing your left knee into your chest and just hug it in to start. Hmm. Good. Now from here, place your right hand on top of your right hip bone. And the hand on the hip bone is really just reminding you to keep this hip on the ground. Holding on to the left knee with the left hand. Inhale, take the leg out to the left. And exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, draw the leg out to the side. Exhale, bring the knee back to center. Again, the work here is to keep the right hip grounded as much as possible. Exhale to center. We'll do just a few more. The right abdomen is engaged here. It really helped that along, that cementing of the right hip down. Take your time getting there, but as you draw the left knee out to the side this time, go ahead and stay. Again, keeping the right hip on the floor. With your inhale, straighten the left leg, pull the toes back. And then exhale, just bend the knee, keeping that leg out to the side. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bend. We're going to do a few more. And again, the work here really is to keep this right hip on the ground. Good. As you take the left leg out this time, extending the leg, go ahead and stay. Exhale, really keep the, ground, the hip on the ground. I'll keep reminding you. And breathe. About three breaths total. Good. Now with your next exhale, bend the knee, bring it back to center and then extend the left leg down to the floor. And again, notice sensation dropping back into our bodies. Good. Doing a little bit more work here on our backs. Go ahead and head and hug the knees back into the chest. And holding onto the knees, or maybe you might have access to reach around and grab the hand or the wrist. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, curl your chin in toward your throat, bring your forehead up toward the knees, shoulders lift. Stay up for the inhale. And then exhale, release the head and shoulders back down gently. Stay down for the inhale. Exhale, curl the chin in toward the throat, bring the forehead up toward the knees, shoulders lift. Stay up for the inhale. And exhale, release down. Stay down for the inhale. So we're just moving on the exhalations. Please continue. Exhale, curling up. And exhale, curling down. Exhale, curling up. And exhale, curling down. One more time. Exhale, curling up. And then exhale, curling on down. Okay, so from here, go ahead and bring your hands down to the floor. And you might even wanna tuck your hands underneath your hips here for some support, because we're gonna do some, some core work. And then extend your legs toward the ceiling and pull the toes back. 
as much as you can, extending through the leg. Take a deep breath in, and with your exhale, extend your right leg forward about four inches off the floor in front of you. And then inhale, pick the leg back up. And then exhale, take the left leg forward about four inches off the floor. And then inhale, lift back up. Let's keep going. Exhale, take a leg forward. Inhale, bring it up. And as you're moving, especially as you take the leg forward, think about cementing your lower back to the floor. Really keep that curve from happening that might pull you out of the core work here. Keep extending through the heels. Good, let's do that one more time on each side. Good, and the next time the left leg lifts, go ahead and hug the knees into your chest again. Taking an adjusting breath. And there's one more core exercise we'll do here before we move on. And it looks like the last one. So go ahead and tuck your hands under your hips if you'd like to for support. Extend both legs toward the ceiling, pull the toes back, take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, extend your right leg forward about four inches off the floor and just stay. Extend through both heels. Think about cementing the lower back to the floor, feeling the navel pull back toward your spine. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. Hopefully that's validating for you. <laughs> Good, inhale, lift the right leg up. Don't think about it, just do it. Take the left leg forward. Don't think about it, just do it before you have a chance to talk yourself out of it. And again, lower back is grounding toward the earth, navel to spine, and you're breathing. Soften your jaw. No clenching of the teeth here. Good. Then inhale, lift all the way up. And exhale, hug the knees into the chest again. Good. Taking a moment to breathe. Hmm. And then from here, go ahead and take your feet flat to the floor. Good. Have your heels underneath your knees and about hip width apart, hip distance apart. Your arms resting down by your side, and we'll do a little bit of bridge pose. So starting with the arms, inhale, lift your arms all the way overhead, knuckles touch the floor above you, and then exhale, allow the arms to float back down to your side. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the arms all the way overhead, and exhale, release the arms all the way down. One more time with just the arms, inhale, lifting overhead, and exhale, arms down. Lifting the arms in the same manner as before, this time also pick up your hips, reach your pelvis toward the ceiling, hips raised, arms overhead. Exhale, release the arms and hips back down. Let's do that again. Inhale, lifting the arms and hips, bridge pose. And exhale, releasing all the way down. Continuing on your own breath, inhale, lifting, exhale, lowering, and make sure the feet are flat on the floor the entire time. I know sometimes people want to lift the heels or lift the toes, but keep the feet grounded here. This will help make sure that the exercise is safe for your joints and for your lower back. All important parts of your body. <laughs> Let's do a few more. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lowering. And as you come into bridge pose this time, hips raised, arms overhead, go ahead and stay. And keep hips pressing up. And then also feel a slight back bend in your upper back. The heart reaching toward your chin and then soften your throat. Staying up for two more breaths. And 
deep breath in and exhale, release the hips, release the arms, coming all the way back down to the floor. Take a moment. Hmm. Good. Now taking your arms out to the side, maybe about a foot away from your hips, take your feet as wide apart as your mat. And then walk your feet away from your hips, so forward, about six inches. Good. Now with your inhale, allow the knees to fall to your right, rocking up onto the hip. With your exhale, ground your lower back to the floor and draw the knees back to center. Then inhale, take the knees to the left. And exhale, ground the lower back, coming back to center. We're just going to keep going. Inhale to the right side. Exhale, ground the lower back, coming through center. And then inhale to the left side. Continuing on your breath. Again, inhaling to a side, exhaling through center, just feeling some looseness in the hip joints, the femur heads, and some length along the sides of the body as the knees fall to the sides. This is great to stretch the iliopsoas muscle, this big wraparound muscle from the lower back down into the groin. Often a lot of lower back pain or hip pain is actually due to the tightness of this muscle. So this exercise helps to just create a little bit more length there, relieving tension, especially if you drop the inner leg toward the floor more. So if you take the knees to the right, it'd be your left knee that would be grounding down just a little bit more. Let's do a couple more. This exercise always feels so good, personally, on my lower back. Just really getting that, those muscles nice and soft. Go ahead. Now, as you take the knees to the right this time, just go ahead and keep rolling to your right so that you can come up, and then we'll come on to hands and knees. Take your time. Yay, more people are here. I haven't looked at the computer in a minute. <laughs> Magdalena, Peter, welcome. So hands under your shoulders, knees beneath the hips are slightly further back. We'll inhale, look forward with the heart. Exhale, go all the way back to child's pose. Inhale up to hands and knees. Curl the toes under. Exhale, lift the hips into the air. Downward facing dog. And you know how it goes. On our first round, we walk the dog out a bit. Press a heel to the floor, bend the opposite knee. Breathing length into the legs and length into your spine. Just feeling out this posture. I find that down dog is a great way to get to know what's happening in your body because it really does take the entire body, the entire body's engagement to be in the pose. From the shoulders and neck, the spine, all the muscles around the spine the hip joints, the legs, the feet. Good. With your next inhale, come forward into plank pose. And you can be in traditional plank like this, or you can also be knees down, whichever one you prefer <laughs> or want to do. <laughs> and then take a deep breath in. With your exhale, go ahead and plank yourself down to the floor. Again, either straight down or knees down, chest down. Release the feet. With your next inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the head, chest, and legs, coming into locust pose. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift the head, chest, and legs. Exhale, release down. Let's do three more. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. One more for now. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release on down. Take an adjusting breath. Good. And then curling the toes under, go ahead and push up to hands and knees and back again into downward facing dog. Good. 
All right, so from down dog, go ahead and walk your hands back to meet your feet, coming into the forward fold. Soft knees here, really drooping the upper body over the legs, release the neck and head, shoulders hanging heavy. Good. Now with your next inhale, press palms to shins. Come halfway up, heart parallel to the floor. Exhale, fold forward. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, fold down. This time, inhale, sweep the arms out to the side of the flat back. Come all the way up to standing. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back, and up again. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Inhale, press palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, flat back, coming all the way up. And let's just fold all the way forward again. Good. Halfway up. And down, all the way up, all the way down, halfway, exhale, all the way. One more time, exhale, fold all the way forward, palms to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And palms to the heart this time. And just feel sensation, the spine nice and warmed up, lower back nice and warmed up. And of course we did that work with the hips earlier. All right, so let's do some work for the shoulders, all right? So go ahead and take your right arm out to the side and exhale, take the arm across your body, reach up with the left arm and hook the elbow and just draw the arm toward your chest. You'll feel this in your right shoulder joint. Now take some deep breaths, especially into the right side of the, ch uh, the chest and the right upper back. Hmm. Good. And then exhale, release that arm down. Notice sensation. Other side, left arm out to the side. Take it across the body. Hook around the elbow with your right arm and just pull the arm powerfully in toward your chest. And take just some deep. Good, one more. And then carefully release the arm. Building onto that, take your arms out to the side, take your hands forward, right hand over left, right over left, and then continue across to give yourself a hug, holding onto the shoulders. Now see if you can inch the fingers a little bit further, a little bit tighter of a hug. Good. Now, once you have that connection, what I'd like you to do here is just lift your elbows. What you'll feel in the back body is your shoulder blades separating, creating some space. And it's the back side of the heart. Just take some deep breaths into the back body. Hmm. Good, one more breath here. And then exhale, drop the shoulders for, to the elbows first and release the arms. 
notice sensation. Okay, so now we have to do the other side. So taking the arms out to the side, this time bring the hands forward, it's left over right, left over right, and then go ahead and reach across. Grab hold of the shoulders and inch the fingers a little bit further forward. And again, our work here is while holding onto that is to lift the elbows and to take deep breaths. Breathe, the shoulder blades separating behind you. One more breath here. And then exhale, release the elbows down and then release the hug. Good, let's roll the shoulders back a few times. Having to relieve any crunchiness from that last one. <laughs> and then roll the shoulders forward a few times. Hmm. One more time. That one feels good too. <laughs> All right, so let's do some sun salutations. All right, so go ahead and step to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Take a drink of water too, if you haven't done that in a minute. You gotta stay hydrated. All right, so stacking the feet underneath your hips. Go ahead and bring your palms to your heart. And before we start moving, I'd like to reground into something we did during centering, and that's just simply to be aware of the breath. The breath in your nostrils, the breath at your throat, the expansion and contraction of your body. And reminding ourselves that the breath is drawing our awareness to the present moment to this breath, to this body, to this moment in our lives. And again, when we're aware of the present moment, we create the capacity to truly experience joy, contentment, happiness. So open yourself up to that capacity, be present. And as we move through the sun salutation, allow yourself to just continue to be with that present state. And if your mind moves, we just bring it back each and every time. So with your next inhalation, go ahead and sweep the arms down, back and up. Then exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. We know this one. Press palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, release down and take your right foot way back, then take the back foot flat to the floor, toes pointing forward about 45 degrees, and then bend into your front knee. Inhale, extend the arms forward, then peel the chest away from the thigh, coming into warrior one. Good, we're gonna do a little bit of work here. So with your inhale, extend your body forward, then exhale, roll the shoulders themselves back to look forward with the heart, so the whole body doesn't come up. We'll do that again. Inhale, angle forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back, deepening the back bend in your upper back. We'll do one more time. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Good. Then inhalation, straighten the left leg. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Reach forward, then fold down. Stay for the inhale. And then exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose, straight line push up, or knees down. Exhale, plank yourself down to the floor. Inhale, locust pose, head, chest, and legs lift. 
and then exhale, float down, curl the toes under, push up to hands and knees, and again, downward facing dog. Good, so from downward facing dog, lift your right leg into the air behind you. With your exhale, swing or carry a step the right foot between the hands, help it along. You can even drop the back knee to help it forward. Now your back foot, when you're ready, is gonna come flat to the floor, toes pointing forward about 45 degrees. Nice bend to the right leg, and then inhale, extend the arms, coming on up for warrior one on this side. Good, doing the work in the pose. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. One more time. Good, then inhale, straighten the knee. Hinging out the hips, go ahead and lead with the heart as you fold forward and down. Stay for the inhale. Then exhale, step the left foot forward, standing forward, fold. Palms to shins halfway up here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, palms to the heart. Good, taking a moment here, return your awareness to the breath, returning your awareness to the present moment. And then we'll continue to move from that space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Step the left foot back this time. Back foot flat on the floor. Nice bend of the front knee. Warrior one, come on up. Exhale, grounding. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, scoop the heart forward. Roll the shoulders back. We're just going to do it one time this time. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold forward and down. Deep breath in. Exhale, step gently back to downward facing dog. Good. Plank pose or knees down. Exhale to the earth. Pelvis grounding, locust pose lift, head, chest, and legs. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, push up, and back to downward facing dog. Good. So the left leg lifts this time. Exhale, swing or carry step the left foot between the hands. Again, help it through. Back foot flat on the floor, toes pointing forward about 45 degrees. Then inhale, come on up for warrior one, lifting the arms. Good, work in the pose for one, one breath. Lean forward, inhale. Exhale, roll the shoulders back, pressing the heart forward. Then inhale, straighten the left leg. And exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Palms to shins, extend your spine forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, palms to heart. One present breath. And then inhale, take the arms out to the side again, lifting up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Take the right foot back, back foot flat on the floor. Warrior one, coming on up. Grounding in with the exhale. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, fold over it. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plank pose to the earth. Locust rise, head, chest, and legs. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, pushing up and back, downward facing dog. It's the right leg that lifts this time. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, helping it through. Back foot flat. Inhale, warrior, come on up. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. And then straighten the leg, inhale. Then exhale, fold over the right leg. Deep breath in. And exhale, step through, stepping forward. 
palms to shins. Exhale, release. Sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up. Palms to the heart, taking a breath in center. Inhale, sweep the arms up again. Exhale, fold forward. Palms to shins. Exhale, release, take the left foot back. Back foot flat to the floor, warrior one. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Good, straighten the knee. And then fold over the leg. Deep breath in. Downward facing dog, exhale. Plank pose or knees down. Exhale to the earth. Good, locust rise, head, chest, and legs. And then exhale down, curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts and bring the foot on through. Help it forward. Back foot turns flat to the floor. Inhale, warrior one. Good, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. And then straighten the leg and fold over it. Deep breath in here. And exhale, step forward. Palms to shins, lengthen the spine forward. Exhale, release. Take the arms out to the side. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And palms to the heart. Take a present breath. One more round, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold. Palms to shins. Exhale, release, right foot goes back this time. Back foot flat on the floor. Inhale, coming on up for warrior. So we're gonna work with that deeper back bend. We're gonna stay for a little bit with it. And one thing I wanna draw your awareness to is that when we lean forward and then roll the shoulders back. We're not just coming back into the same position we were before. It's almost like the shoulder blades are like a log rolling in water. So if you lean forward, it's just the shoulders that roll back and the, be the lower back kind of stays steady. So give that a try. Lean forward and then like a log rolling in water, roll the shoulders back, look forward with the heart. And then lean forward again. And then do that a little bit more. A couple more times. Don't be afraid to bend that front knee. And then stay. Let's breathe for just a couple of rounds. Be present with it. Aware of the inhale, aware of the exhale. What's here for you in this moment in your body, your energy, your mind. One more breath. And then inhale, straighten the knee, the leg. Exhale, fold forward. And let's stay here for a breath or two or three. Relaxing your shoulders. It's okay if this left knee, this front knee is bending slightly. Good, so from here, we're gonna transition into triangle pose. So go ahead and move your left hand onto your left shin or ankle. Pull the heart away from the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. Then exhale, sweep the right arm into the air, rolling the right shoulder back, stacking the shoulders on top of one another. Good, let's breathe here. And if it's too much to look at the hand in the air, you can look forward or even down. No need to strain the neck here. All right, with your next inhale, go ahead and sweep the right arm forward and down, bending the front knee, step back to downward facing dog. And then inhale, coming into plank pose, or knees down. Exhale, coming down to the floor. 
pelvis grounding, head, chest, and legs lift. And then exhale, release. Curl the toes under, push up, and back, downward facing dog. And let's take about three deep breaths here in down dog. Really feeling length in your spine, hip bones reaching toward the sky powerfully behind you. And again, when we're aware of the breath, we're in the present moment. This body, this inhale, this exhale, this mind. Good, now let's finish off our warrior series. Lifting the right leg into the air. Go ahead and step the foot between the hands. Back foot flat to the floor. Inhale, warrior one, coming on up. Good, so doing the work in the pose here. Again, it's about that rolling of the shoulder blades back. So inhale, lean the heart forward. Exhale, roll the shoulders back like you're trying to press the heart forward. Good, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, roll the shoulder blades back. Let's do that a couple more times. Good, and then stay. Breathe. Good, one more breath here. And then inhale, straighten the right knee. And then exhale, fold over that leg. And let's stay for just a few deep, deep breaths. And it's okay if the right knee is bending slightly. Good, and then from here, go ahead and carefully step the left foot forward, standing forward fold. Press palms to shins, come halfway up. And exhale, release on down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up to standing. And then palms to the heart. Come back to the present breath. Aware of what's happening in your body. Aware of your breath in the body. And aware of your mind's awareness of all that. Good job. So bringing your awareness back to your space. Hydrating just a little bit more here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have you turn on your mat to come into a wide leg stance. So whatever you need to do in your space to be able to do that. And in a moment, we're gonna be doing a forward fold here. So make sure that there's no coffee table or couch in the way. <laughs> do your best. And when we do fold forward, you might need a prop to bring your hand to the floor because I'll just show you what we'll do. You're gonna bring yourself into a twist eventually here. And if the floor is feeling far away, you can bring maybe like a water bottle underneath your hand just to give you a little bit more hair. If you have a yoga block at home, you can use that. A stack of books would work. Um, like looking around my space right now, like what would work? <laughs> just do your best, all right? So go ahead and fold forward when you're ready. Just soften both knees and fold over wide legs. And just for a moment here, feeling the stretch in the back body. So of course the hamstrings are probably calling to you here, but there's also the lower back and even into the mid back. 
We've been doing a lot of backbending tonight already, so this is a nice counter pose for all of that backbending. Again, keep the knees just a little bit soft, not locked. Now go ahead and bring yourself up about halfway, chest parallel to the floor, and bring your right hand underneath your chin. Now again, if the floor is feeling far away here, you can bring your hand onto a prop, water bottle, yoga block, tissue box, <laughs> something there, right underneath the chin. And the left hand will go onto your left waist. With your inhale, feel the right arm straighten. With your exhale, roll the left shoulder back, twist. Inhale, come out of the pose, looking down. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper, rolling the left shoulder back. Inhale, unwind. And this time we'll come into the pose and we'll stay. Go ahead and roll the shoulder back, twist. And breathe. With every inhale, extend the spine forward a little bit more. With every exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Navel pulling into the body and to the left. Taking that left shoulder back a little bit more. Good. Now with your next inhalation, carefully unwind and fold forward over wide legs. Release the neck here. Good, and let's do the other side. Coming up halfway. This time bring your left hand underneath your chin or onto a prop there and bring your right hand and onto your right waist. Good, good. With your inhale, straighten the left arm. With your exhale, roll the right shoulder back, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist. Inhale, unwind. And then exhale, twist. Let's stay in the pose this time. With every inhale, feel a little bit more length in the body, the spine especially. With your exhale, roll your shoulder, your right shoulder back a little bit more. And I didn't mention it on the first side, but if it's too much on the neck to look up, again, you can look forward or even down. No need to strain the neck, but keep the intention of the right shoulder rolling back as much as possible. And staying for just a few more, more breaths. Continuing to roll that right shoulder back, the navel pulling into the body and to the right. With your next inhale, carefully unwind, coming back into the forward fold. Again, knees are soft. Now in the forward fold, hands on the floor, just lean forward a little bit more and drop the body forward a little bit more. It might be a, mean a bending of the elbows if your hands are on the ground. Just allowing yourself to sink a little bit deeper. Good. And then lifting yourself up halfway with an inhale. So we're all in different spaces, so do the best you can. And we're going to transition to downward facing dog. So turn toward the front of your mat and step backwards into down dog. Nice symmetrical stretch here, legs closer together. Soften both knees and really extend the hips toward the ceiling behind you. 
big length in the back body. Good. And then inhale, float down gently onto hands and knees. And if you want to, you can take the knees a little bit further apart. We're going to come into child's pose. Okay. Forehead on the ground if you can. Hips sinking toward the heels. And just relax here. Allowing the breath to draw you to this moment, to the sensation in your body, to your energetic state. to your state of mind. Good. So from here, go ahead and come up and come on to your back. And we're going to do one exercise before Shavasana, but you can have your stuff nearby. So coming to lie down, ending where we started, knees to chest, and rock gently on the spine if that feels good to you. Hold the knees still if that feels good to you. And I'll give you one adjustment here if you'd like to. You can keep rocking if you want. But if you'd like to, with the knees still, Exhale, curl the chin in toward the throat, bring the forehead up toward the knees. And once you're up there, get a tighter grip on the legs. And then with that tighter grip, relax back down onto your shoulders and head. And if, if you did that gr extra gripping, the tailbone might curl away from the floor. And what I'll ask you to do is with an exhale is to try to roll the tailbone back down to the ground. This just gives you a little bit more release in your lower back. So this is a good to do if you're feeling some tension there. Deep breaths. All right. So when you feel complete, complete <laughs> in this pose, go ahead and gently extend your legs down to the floor. And make yourself comfortable to rest here. So you can bring a blanket under your head if you'd like to. You can turn off lights in your space if you'd like to. And as you come to rest, allow the heels to be about mat width apart, the toes falling away from one another. This allows the hips to really relax here. Allow your arms to relax out to your side, palms face up. This allows the shoulders to come into a more relaxed state. Feel some softness in your jaw, not clenching. And relax your eyes as well. And before the mind can trail off, draw it back to your breath. And so we'll, we'll invoke or we'll practice the journey of the breath. So become aware of the sensation of the breath at the base of your nostrils. The flutter of the breath, the opening of your nostrils.
And then notice the breath moving in the nasal passages. Might be a cooler sensation on inhale, warmer sensation on exhale. Noticing the breath in the nasal passages. Feeling the breath at your throat. And then noticing the lungs filling, the body expanding as you inhale, the body contracting, the lungs emptying as you exhale. You're not efforting here at all. You're just aware of the breath. And let's link these awarenesses together. The start of your inhale, the breath moving past the opening of the nostrils, through the nasal passages, past the throat. The lungs fill, the body expands. Exhale, the body contracts, the lungs deflate, the breath moving past the throat, through the nostrils, and back out. Following that full journey of the breath in, And the full journey of the breath out. Peace. 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 Please go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. Make some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs. And when you're ready, carefully roll to your right side. And take your time as you come up to a seat. So sitting tall once you're there, go ahead and bring your palms to your heart and bow the chin. And feeling the breath in your body again and just reminding yourself that the breath is bringing you here. The breath is the present moment. So when you find yourself Focusing on things that have happened or concerning yourself with things that may or may not happen, past, future. Find yourself spinning in these realms. Come back to your breath. Allow it to draw you here to this moment, this body, this breath.
So have some gratitude to yourself for the effort you put forth tonight to help bring yourself more to this moment. And may that effort and this practice continue to serve you. So until we meet again, namaste.